Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a hot or not showdown to share with you guys. We are talking stick foundation. I have one that recently launched from Hourglass and another that recently launched from Anastasia. I keep getting emails and tweets, etc., from you guys asking me which one is better, which one should I buy, and there are some major differences between the two. We're gonna go over every single detail. And I also wanna mention that I will be on Style Code Live tonight. I'll be hanging out in a live chat like I always do, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. So be sure to expand the description box below. I had such a fun time in New York this week. It feels like I was on the show on Monday and you know did Gen Beauty on Saturday, and they're actually gonna show clips from Gen Beauty on the show tonight as well. So it's just, I don't know, it's been a really, really exciting week. And I also changed my hair, which to me feels really exciting. I think this is the first video on my channel on YouTube that I am debuting the really dark, much shorter hair. What do you guys think? I kind of love it, but I keep looking in the monitor and catching a glance and I'm like, oh my God, who am I? Who, who is that? It's a, a little bit of a change for me. So anyway, let's jump into the details. There are definite pros and cons. There is a clear winner here. So let's just take a look at the product itself. Both come in boxes and you open them up to reveal dun, 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 stick foundation. Sliding the lid off, this is what you got. Stick foundation. I have to say something that in my opinion is very innovative in the application with the hourglass is the fact that this is a really unique tip. I like that it's triangular. This means that you can actually take the very edge tip, you can put a highlight down the bridge of the nose, you can actually get very close up in this corner underneath the eye, you can get around the nose. The edges on the triangular shape make sense to me and I love that. Most stick foundations, you know, Bobbi Brown has had one out for a very long time. Makeup Forever has one. They're all, you know, even Tom Ford, they're all in this circular shape. That is the standard. That is what you think of when you think of stick foundation. So I think it's off the bat, just something really different that this one is in a triangle. The Hourglass is 46 $6, really steep price. I know it's very, very expensive. You only get 0.25 ounces. You don't get a lot. That's another drawback. However, they do say that this has the coverage of a concealer. You don't need as much product, and I do find that to be true. The Anastasia Foundation, you get more product, 0.32, and this is $25. So that is a drastic difference. Just looking at the price, I think you're immediately gonna go, oh, Anastasia, I'll take that, you know? That one makes more sense price-wise. But if you really digest the fact that the Vanish is extremely full coverage, like a concealer they say it wears like a concealer but you don't feel the you know heaviness that you would with a concealer it feels like a foundation and you just don't need as much product the anastasia one you are going to use it up quicker because you do need more product especially if you want something more on the medium to full coverage side of things something that is a pro on the anastasia side is it does come in 23 shades and a few of them are specifically designed to be contour and highlighting shades the contour ones have a very gray undertone don't mistake those for foundation shades because they're just going to look kind of weird on the skin they are specifically made to be contour shades. Hourglass made 26 shades. They aren't targeted as contour or highlighting, though you could easily find, you know, a highlight or a contour because it's such a wide range of colors. And I do have to say they did a better job with the deeper shades. I feel them to be very rich. I myself just playing and swatching found them to be more realistic as far as skin tone shades and I could see them working. Let's get to what each of them do and what they claim to do. So the Hourglass Vanish Foundation claims to be a very extreme full coverage foundation. It is great for combo to dry skin. It's not going to be ideal for oily skin. It doesn't have a matte finish but to me, it feels like a natural finish. I have to say something I really, really enjoy about the Vanish Foundation. It does not grab at any of my dry patches. I have an issue right in here where, especially like today from flying last night, like I have little flaky like dry patches. And if I were to put any other foundation on, I would just have to suck it up and be like, okay, well, my skin's just gonna look like this for now. It's not the end of the world, it's fine. For some reason, this foundation 
does not grab at dry patches. And for me, I'm just like, yes, like that is such a huge deal to me. I'm like, I will pay any amount of money, sign me up. Like I love that. It does not exaggerate my fine lines. It is super full coverage. I use this as concealer underneath the eyes. I like taking three shades. I know that's crazy, but I will use a deeper shade around the perimeter of my face a really light shade underneath the eye and then a medium tone shade on the middle of my face and that way I'm creating kind of a contour dimensional look to my skin without contour and highlighting which ends up looking really really natural. Three shades that I am using warm beige, nude, and then I am taking porcelain as well as my like really light highlight down the bridge of the nose underneath the eye and I love this this one also because it's so blendable and it sinks into the skin so beautifully you can use this to carve out your eyebrows and it works better than any concealer i kid you not for those of you out there that use that technique where you clean up the edges of your eyebrows if you were to look super super close up at me you would not see any caked makeup you would see just absolutely nothing it's smooth but there is a highlight there is a sharpness there and that's something that really excites me with this product. You can use it so many different ways. I can definitely contour around the mouth. I can highlight the corners of the mouth. I can use it as concealer, spot concealer, full coverage foundation. It's just an amazing, amazing product. So now that I've like gone off on all of the wonderful things about this particular product, I'm sure you can guess who's winning the battle because this lonely guy over here just did not impress me. I knew it would be a matte finish. I knew this would be more ideal for oily skin, so I did keep that into consideration. But the issue that I have with this is not the finish of it. The finish is fine. It's getting it to the finish that I have a problem with. When you apply this, it is very hard and it is really difficult to blend. It does not want to move. Whereas this one has so much more slip to it. You can even see it has a little more kind of a moisturizing thing where it just sinks in to the skin straight away. This one sits on top, you get blotchy areas. And if you have any texture on your skin, it's going to pick that up. For more oily skin, those tend to be the people that break out a little bit more, even if you don't have acne. If you have oily skin, you're gonna have some clogged pores, you might have some issues with congestion, you might have a little texture on the skin and oil at the same time, which creates a lot of like chaos with your makeup. Trust me, I've been there, I understand that. And this one, if you're looking for a full covered stick foundation that's good for your oily skin, and you want that coverage, I think you're gonna have a hard time blending it because it's gonna pull and then you'll blend back and it'll patch and pull and not sink in the way you want it to. It does say on Sephora.com that the Anastasia Stick Foundation is ideal for all skin types. I feel it's really gonna be best for oily skin types. If you still wanna use this, make sure you don't have super dry skin because it's really gonna exaggerate things that you don't want to exaggerate, being that it is a matte stick foundation. So this to me was just an absolute fail. I don't like it. I love Anastasia as a brand. I love the Brow Wiz, the highlight, which I'm wearing today that's just so gorgeous. There are so many products from the Anastasia range that I adore. This one just did not do a good job. And I can see it not just doing a good job for me, but I can see it being an issue for a lot of people. And that's why I'm giving it a thumbs down review. The Vanish Foundation is just like my new favorite thing. Yesterday's video was me trying out the crazy $200 primer, and you see in the sped up part of the video that I'm using the Vanish Foundation and how quickly it just kind of blends on the skin. If you met me at Gen Beauty, I was wearing the Vanish. I am wearing it again today. I wore it on Style Code Live. Like I cannot get enough of it not sponsored whatsoever. Love this foundation so much. I did try out the brush that they launched with this foundation. I prefer using the Artiste brush. I tried using a beauty blender, which is really not the greatest idea um, with stick foundation, unless you're going to be just kind of patting it in underneath the eye as concealer. A brush is gonna do a better job just kind of blending everything together, especially if you're using multiple colors. So I can't say enough about this product. It's full coverage, but does not look full coverage. It does wear for a very long time. I mean, I put on my makeup early in the morning and lasted through Gen Beauty and was totally fine without any blotching, sliding, none of that. It doesn't get too crazy oily, but it's not a matte finish. 
Um, what else can I tell you? It's just an awesome product. I would definitely check it out. It is worth a look. I was nervous to try this because I don't really like stick foundation as much as liquid, but I'm surprised because I do keep reaching for this one over and over and over again. So I'm sure you guys will see me use it a lot because it's a new love that I am so into. And I would just put a little bit of thought into if you want to try the Anastasio one with everything that I mentioned. I just think it's just so tough to blend and that's just such a drawback. So there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this stick foundation showdown. Let me know what other battles should I do? I maybe a drugstore versus luxury or any product that launches where there's like a similar product at the same time, let me know. I'm happy to do this again. And of course, I'm going to remind you, come hang out with me in the live chat at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific for Style Code Live. Um, I just, I enjoy you guys being there with me. So I hope to see you and I hope you enjoyed this video. You can give it a thumbs up if you did. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.